hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to premier league predictions obviously another weekend of premier league football coming up so yet again we go through the premier league like we do every weekend the premier league is going to be played anyway a lot of games to get through so let's get straight down to this video guys you know what to do you a big crap for us obviously enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game we're going to talk about is Chelsea versus Manchester City. Chelsea are currently sitting at the top of the Premier League table, playing very well. I, I really do think it's going to be a really, you know, probably three clubs to go for the Premier League title this year. Chelsea's one of them at this present time for me. Chelsea seems to be playing a lot of uh, good football at this present time. Will it stick? We're going to have to wait and see. Go look at Manchester City this weekend. Big game for Chelsea if they want to or even start thinking about clinching the Premier League title. At Stamford Bridge as well, so it's going to be a really interesting game. Manchester City currently sitting in fifth at the Premier League table. Ain't had the best of starts, ain't had the worst either. They did draw to Southampton um, on the previous weekend. And well done for Southampton for getting that point out to the Etihad. It's not the easiest thing to do in the world of football, as we all know. But going forward to this game, I'm going to go for a Chelsea win, I think. I think Chelsea are just a bit stronger than the City at this present in time. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. So, very tough game there. The next one is Manchester United versus Aston Villa. Man United... I know you did West Ham in the uh, EFL Cup or the Caramel Cup, whatever you want to call it. League Cup is another word for the Cup as well. I didn't actually watch that game. Now, I didn't actually watch that game against West Ham. One, because I was at a game itself. And you can see the vlog on my channel now. And I'll make it appear up at the end of this video as well. And to be, you know, what West Ham did last weekend, bringing Mark Noble on for the last minute penalty... Uh, weren't the best idea for me, um, in my personal opinion, because of like they got lots of deck from Rice and on the pitch already. I didn't see the point in that. Aston Villa, on the other hand, I really do think they're struggling this season. You know, selling Jack Greenlish, obviously Manchester City paid his get out clause, so I don't think they really had a choice. Apparently, it's always uh, in the rest of Jack Greenlish, they wanted to go and play European football. So, I'm going to go for Man United win. I'm expecting Man United to get back on the, the uh, winning trail this weekend. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Everton versus Norwich. Everton lost, uh, losing James Rodriguez. I don't think that's going to be a big uh, disappointment, if I'm being honest. I think he played when we played Everton down here last season, but on the other side of that, I don't think it's going to be a big disappointment. Everton ain't had that bad a start of seasons. For the opposite end of this, though, in Norwich, yet again to pick up a win, even pick up a single point, only the team in the Premier League to pick up, not to pick up a point. Uh, so far, so the pressure's built on Norwich already. Grinson Park, very difficult place to go. I'm going to go for an Everton win, and I'm going to go for a 3 nil Everton win. Sorry, Norwich fans. My next one is Leagues versus West Ham. Leagues, to me, yet again, are playing okay. West Ham, as I said, they beat United in the Cup. Um, at Old Trafford, I believe that was. Lost to Man United in the league. Uh, I've already mentioned the last minute penalty about that uh, league fixture with Manchester United. Don't think it's the right idea. I think he might have knocked Declan Bryce's confidence down a bit. Maybe Antonio as well. I think he was still playing at the present in time. Going forward to this game, I think this one's going to be quite. I think this one's going to be a draw. A quite comfortable draw as well of a one all scoreline, so one goal for each team. My next one is Leicester versus Burnley. Burnley, to me, are one of these teams that, you know, 
maybe struggling down at the bottom I think they're in the bottom three as it currently stands I'm not too sure but less on the other hand I think they won in the cup yes they did losing to Brighton the previous weekend obviously VAR decisions going against Leicester and you know both expecting Leicester to get back on the one in trial this weekend and I'm gonna go for a a three nil scoreline for that one my next one is Watford versus Newcastle Watford to me were my dark horses a few years back I ain't got up to that standard yet though in my opinion Newcastle on the other hand are in the bottom three um it's going to be a really interesting game for both of these clubs going forward that Vicarage Road I'm trying to work out I'm going to go for a draw I think I can't really see either, either team winning this game and I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one also my next one is Brentford versus Liverpool to me now I think Brentford I underestimated them right at the start before the season started but fair play to Brentford, holding their own against some of the bigger boys in the Premier League. I think they're ninth in the league at this early stage, but, you know, it's still very early days. Going up against an OK Liverpool squad, Liverpool, to me, look like getting back into the old ways of their title where uh, Premier League winning season. So I'm going to go for a Liverpool win, I think, and I'm going to go for... A 3-1 Liverpool win. My next one is Southampton versus Wolverhampton. Now, as I said, fair play to Southampton for getting that point out the Etihad. had. You know, it's a very good game and they showed how teams how to hold City, basically, on their match their day that night. Going back at St Mary's this weekend against a very OK Wolverhampton side. Now, with me, Wolves are still struggling just a little bit. Losing to Tottenham in the Cup. Missed penalties obviously cost their Cup um, for Wolves. That's what knocked them out. Southampton back at St Mary's. But yeah, again, really do struggle um, from time to time. But I think I'm just going to stick, for, stick up for a Southampton win this weekend. And I'll go for a 2-1 Southampton win. My next one is Arsenal versus Spurs, North London Derby this weekend at the Emirates. Now, I asked me a couple of weeks back, I would have easily gone Spurs win. Asking me now, it's going to be a bit tricky. Let's talk about both clubs first slightly just before I get down to my predictions. Arsenal won over the past couple of weeks. Six points moving out of Premier League table slowly, um, but going up against a very, a very okay Spurs side. Uh, Harry Kane hasn't scored in four games. Would he break the curse in the North London derby? I'm gonna go for a Spurs win, I think, just about, and I'm gonna go for a 2 1 Spurs win. My last one for this weekend is. Crystal Palace versus Brighton over Albion. The thing that gets called lots of things um, for a derby. I necessarily don't call it a derby. I've always had this argument. It's not a derby. It's just one of these rivalries in the game itself. But it's been called the M23 derby. The Al Mallory derby. I've said this more, probably more than once in my video. So Crystal Palace doing okay um, at this present time. Brighton, my club on the other hand, are sitting in fourth in the Premier League. Now, you know, I see a lot of, a lot of you opinions saying, well, you, you know, you ain't really played any clubs this season. I don't mind that. We're a small team, come back from basically is dead. Uh, we're one goal away from being knocked out of the Football League altogether and possibly a liquidation. Um, but I'm so happy being a Brighton fan at this present in time. It's going to be a really interesting game at Selhurst Park. 
but I'm going to go from a Brighton win and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Brighton win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. You guys have a big crap and hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.